scapegoats back with junkyard truck, if I remember correctly. <laughs> we need a drink. My dude's all out of is all out of liquid, man. I need drink. Okay, let's see here. Oh, what do we got? Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. I wish I had a garbage dumpster where I could pick the cans back up. I don't like just leaving them laying around. Okay, so consensus says. Hey, where is it? Okay, pick this up. We should paint the truck orange, apparently. So that's what we're going to do. Um, it was a small consensus, but I looked at all the people saying stuff, and orange seemed to be the color. So orange it'll be. Now, we have this junk to drop off today. We should probably further upgrade the truck, but I noticed there is a mission uh, to go to, which was it, the water tower? If you go to escape and you go to missions, it'll tell you, right? Uh, yeah, uh, get the overflow valve at the water tower, right? Am I turning a knob? So I think we're going to go to try to do that. And we know where the water tower is. Uh, maybe. <laughs> so it says we might need a truck to get there, but I'm not sure. Um, we know how to get like all the way there. I'm not sure we can get the truck all the way there. So we're going to get, uh, this thing started up and we're going to go drop this junk off first. All right. I like that everything here is an automatic in this game. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I just went off the cliff. How are we doing for fuel? Ah, not bad, actually. Okay, this thing still needs further upgrades. The engine's kind of weak. I would love to replace the tires with something better as well. Um, and like I said, we got a bunch of junk in the back here. We've got some junk in the trunk, so we're going to take that to the metal recycle place. How are you guys doing? I'm so happy to be back in this game. It's a little soon, but I just felt like playing it. And like I said, I have zero schedule when it comes to what I record and when. Uh, the only thing that comes out on any schedule currently is Farming Simulator, which comes out every Monday uh, morning at 12 a.m. So, because books edits and she likes to put them out at that time. So that's what she gets to do. It's her choice. She edits. She can do what she wants. So <laughs> same with the music. People have asked me, hey, can you do this with the music or that with the music? Or can you pick less slow songs? I think was the one thing I saw the other day. I can't. It's all up to her. I have no choice in the matter. It was part of the deal. If she was going to edit... She got to pick all the music, so that's what we do, and she picks some very eclectic music. Uh, it's pretty intense sometimes, <laughs> I'll admit, salsa music, whatever, it's great. But here today, we're off to go drop off junk at the junkyard. Now, if I remember correctly, I could have went the other way, I think, but we're deci we've decided not to, apparently, because we're actually going this way. There's still no reverse mouse option, I'm a little disappointed, no, I'm kidding. It's fine. I get it. Not my game. If it was my game, I would have one. But it's definitely not required. It just, it always takes me about 15 minutes to get used to it. And by that point, I'm halfway into my playthrough. <laughs> so, okay. Now, where was the recycling place compared to here? Let me just check my map. Uh, okay, straight ahead. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, down this road here. Excellent. Excuse me. We got to go drop off this junk. Well, I feel like the suspension shot, but I don't remember if I saw any suspension parts in there that weren't, like, race prep suspension parts. Now, this is a much nicer braking vehicle than the uh, the car was, so there's that. But like I said before, I hope you're all doing great. I hope you all have some good stuff going on. I have some good stuff going on. I'm playing Junkyard Truck right now. That's, that's a pretty good thing going on, in my opinion. This, this truck's a little hard starting. Um, someone mentioned that I should probably try to fix the hard start. I'm going to assume it's probably most likely due to uh, uh, a bad carburetor. Most Like I would say most likely that would be the scenario that would cause that. With the current setup of the game. For, keep forgetting you got to hit X to get out. It's not Mon Bazoo. Not there's anything wrong with Mon Bazoo. Okay, yes. Oh yeah, perfect. Here we go. Perfect with this. We'll drop this here like that. I said... Yeah, I think we're gonna get 200 bucks for this. Let's go see. Whoop, okay. Let me talk to you. There you go. Thanks, bud. Uh, what do we get? Oh, geez, we got a lot more than 200 bucks. <laughs> we got about 350 bucks for that. Nice. Excellent. So, we can go back to the stow. Well, actually, you know, now that we're here, uh, let's go see what they have for good parts around here, if they have any good parts. I don't want to buy junk. If you could refurbish parts, I'd buy junk, but... That doesn't seem to be the... Oh, we, got, we could get a winch, I guess. We can't afford a winch. Never mind. <laughs> That's not something we can afford. What are you? You are a turbo, but that doesn't do me any good without a man turbo manifold. And the engine needs a lot more work before that's going to... Oh, it's an exhaust manifold for a turbo. Nice. 
The engine needs a lot more work before I'm going to be firing turbos on it, I can tell you that. Oh, what are you? Eh, you're pretty haggard. I already got a haggard one. I don't need a second haggard one. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, what do we got in this box? Anything? I, I, I think it changes daily. I don't know. Um, because some parts are the same. Other parts are new. Oh, well, so that'd be great too. If I could get final drive gears, uh, Ooh, you are a timing gear. All right. What are you? You're a stump. <laughs> You're no help at all. What are you? You're a carburetor for 35 bucks and you are a crank bully. I see we go take a look at the engine. Oh, I see we actually, we go to the shop first. Then we take a look at the engine. See, that's almost affordable. Like, a, a winch seems like a great idea, yet I have not come into any... Oh, what are you? Now, that is a $30 brand new clutch pressure plate right there. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to ignore it for now. Hey, bud. Okay, so we're going to go back to town um, and stop at the store, and we're going to see what we need. Come on. Perfect. All right. Let's see what we need for more upgrades on this thing. I know the cam gears are probably shot. If I pulled the timing cover, I'd probably find terrible cam gears behind it. Oh, God. What, what are you doing, buddy? What are you, what are you going all sideways for? Okay, here we go. I think it started spinning its tires. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, the, I think the tires could be... Um, upgraded significantly but i'm pretty sure i would need can i put the tires on these wheels or do i need new wheels as well like that's more my my concern at this point all right let's just slide up into these dms right here excellent let's leave this thing on the road and stop okay perfect now let's take a look at the under the hood here so it looks like we could use a new exhaust manifold 100 percent. the head is shot but that's going to be expensive to replace the entire head. The carburetor is shot. That won't be as expensive. Um, it looks like this pulley is broke. So there's enough work here to keep us busy for a little bit. Uh, let's see what we got going on. We got a crank. This is all V8 stuff. Now, it's not that I'm opposed to... Uh, well, no, this isn't a V8 thing, is it? No, it's not. This is all just... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's very nice stuff here. This is all for our truck. Look at this. EFI intake manifold. Mm, throttle body. That's 300. And a filter. That'd be 335. And then it's very expensive. I think that there's a head. You know what? We should replace the head because that is definitely something that could be replaced. Um, and the question is, should we do it back at the shop or should we do it here? That's a really good question. Um, look at that flywheel there. 75 bucks here. Okay. So I think... How's our timing cover look? That's another good question. Because if we can pull the timing cover cover off, we still have... I think... It's hard to tell from here. I feel like I need to pull the whole engine out. Uh, to really get a good look at everything. And I may have to do that. And, yeah, I think... Uh, oh, there's the bolts there. That's the one... Okay. So I wonder if I can just unbolt it from there and maybe the transmission and then pull the whole engine. But I think... For now, I think the best bet would be to pull the head. I kind of want to do it here because that way it's like, oh, I need pistons. I can get that. But the te the head's already, how much is that? 200 bucks, was it? Yeah. How much are pistons and stuff? So the pistons are 100 bucks each. So we're not going to be able to afford it even if we did. So I say we go back to the house and that way we can pull the front cover off. And we wanted that. Where's the carb? Uh, carburetor. Okay, carburetor is 120 that's to where it's 320. Yeah, we're not going to quite have enough for the timing cover as well. But we might pull it off and just change it because it'll be an easy enough change. So let's get the, the okay, what about what about the exhaust, actually? Can we get the exhaust, too? That's 100 bucks. So we'll buy the head. That's good. Okay. You can go back here. All right. And then we can get... Uh, my cat's screaming. He's mad at me because I haven't fed him, <laughs> even though it's way too early in the morning to be fed. There's 120 for the carb. So we got $94 left. So we don't quite have enough to get the exhaust, but, uh, we, that's okay. We should probably get a new oil filter because we've never actually done that. And we're probably going to need oil because of that. I would assume. 
So I'll stop and get oil on my way. So let's just start this up. Hopefully it stops this hard starting condition because it's not great. <laughs> I could say that. Okay, whoa, don't don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Nice. Okay, let's I think I hit the wall anyway, but that's alright. Alright, let's pull this up in here. Like such. Okay, just stop. Can we just Is there a I don't see a parking brake in here. Is there am I just missing it? Is it a foot one? It's not a foot one. Okay, well let's hope this get we can get out here without causing a problem. Now I gotta change the oil filter, so that's gonna be Yep, hi! I just want to take this motor oil with me, all right? Is this good? Thanks. All right, let's go home. I think it's getting late in the day. I can't tell. I just never know because I don't have a clock. Ooh, my hunger's kind of off. Okay, hang on. Don't go anywhere, truck. Hi. Okay, I'm back. I just needed something to eat. Um, I'm just going to grab a, a cram. Here you go. Thank you. I'm going to eat it right now. Excellent. Have a good day. Okay, let's go home. Maybe we can find some more junk along the way. I like finding junk. Okay, perfect. It's raining all over my new parts. So hopefully they don't turn rusty. So we're going to go down. Go back to the shop. Someone was making fun of me because I didn't pull the car into the shop. I don't see the point. Uh, in real life, I, you know, my uh, have the big shop and I generally do most things outside anyway. <laughs> Especially on a nice day. You know, I like being outside. All right, here we go. Oof. Boy, this is, uh, this is intense. I'm not stopping great. There we go. I don't know, man. Could you add a, a set of, like, six-pot Brembo's to this or something? That'd be, that'd be Willwood. You know, something along those lines. Whoa. There we go. Toyotas aren't exactly known for their braking prowess in this era, so I'm not too, uh, too worried about it. Okay, I don't see any other junk. Does anybody see any junk? Because junk is just an easy way to get cash, right? Like, that's just... I like the way I said that, cash. Yeah, so we, we, we just got to get some cash in our pockets. We do have 50 bucks left, so we're not a whole lot worse than when we started. Yeah, but I think these tires are just about ready to go. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's just... Should we put it in the garage? Because people always ask me to do weird stuff like that. All right, let's, let's try to put it in the garage. Oh, it just, it really wants to, oof. Okay, let's, uh. Okay, let's pull it ahead and stop it. All right, here we go. Is it mostly in the garage? Oh, yeah, just barely. We fit. What is that? Yeah, we fit. <laughs> okay, here we go. A little better lighting in here, I'm sure. Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like the front cover may be shot, but what did we buy again? We bought the head and we bought an oil filter and a carburetor. So this should be a relatively simple upgrade, uh, which we want. Let's put all this stuff over here for now. Okay, this can go over here uh, and we will get a little carburetor. There it is. Okay, all this can go over here. I think we'll do the oil change first or the, at least the... I wonder how you get to that oil filter. Nope, 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 nope. That's a, what else we got? That's it. Okay, well, whoa, whoa, crowbar. Oh, a tire meter, crowbar. All right, so we're not going to get this thing off like that. So do we have to get underneath it to get at the oil filter? Is that... Is that what we got to do? Well, we can do that. Let me see. Whoop, we're facing the wrong way. Excellent. Okay, we can't turn this thing. Okay, let me see here. Oh, got it. Okay, oil filter. Oh, no, what happened? What happened? What? What's going on? Okay, that that was a little scary. Um, not gonna lie, something something was going horribly wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is this is not great. How am I supposed to get under this thing without causing problems? If that's gonna be the way this works. 
Oh, there we go. New oil filters on. Okay, so you've officially become scrap. <laughs> okay, let me up. Can we scrap that? Or is this just garbage? All right, we'll also put oil in it just in case, because I don't know if it, it sucks the oil out. So let's go to our wrench here, and we'll undo this. And take the air filter off, and we'll put. I'll take the old carburetor off. Excellent. And this can come off. Oh no, I can't see. I feel like that's all the the point. Okay, there we go. Carburetor's off. Here, you can go back here because you're going to be junked as well. All right, carburetor on. Only two bolts, eh? What a crappy carburetor setup. <laughs> okay. Perfect on. Okay, perfect. Okay. You on, and then you can go on. Okay, you know what? All this is going to have to come off anyway. So, is this thing missing a bolt? It might be. All right, nobody can take this off. And this off. And that off. Or do I have to take the carburetor off too now that I'm Or is there is there bolts underneath? Well, let's take the carburetor back off actually now that I'm thinking about it. Cuz we got to replace the head, so it's all coming off anyway. What is what is going on here? Why won't this come up? Hmm. Can you only loosen one thing at a time? Is that is that what's going on? Or am I going to need to pry it off? No, that's not working for some reason. What the heck? Why won't this come off now? Weird. Okay, this is just not popping off now. I wonder if I... Uh if I save it and come back into it, because I feel like that should pop right off now. And I'm in the hand tool. Yeah, I'm in the hand tool. See, that falls off. <laughs> okay. But that won't. Oh, well, let's uh, let's loosen up the other stuff here and we'll see if uh, I feel like it's getting nighttime in here. Oh, got the carburetor off. Excellent. Okay, it was just stuck. Nope, oh, there goes the uh, the intake manifold. Let me just get down here on the ground and get that. You know, this doesn't look horrific, actually, the intake manifold. Okay. So, we're going to need... Take the wires off. That's going to have to come off because it's all attached to the head. And I think we're going to sleep because... It's, it's dark, and I don't like it. All right, sleep. Ooh, perfect. Okay, let's have a beer. Start the day off like champions. Okay. All right, let's see here. Okay, we're going to take off the valve cover here. It's still warm. Look at it. It's still steaming. Like, what is this? <laughs> Why do you like this game? Okay, here we go. This can come off. All right, so now we're down to... That we're going to remove all this because we're going to need to remove all this. Okay, I think we got all these loosened up here pretty much. Okay. All right, pop that off. Oh, take the rockers out. And now we're into the guts of the engine a little bit here. We're going to take the, uh, oh, look at that. That loosened up. Look at that. That or I didn't tighten it down enough. Not cool there, escape. You could have caused a problem. Was that? I got I could have. You think I would have tightened that down 100%, man? All right, let's pop the gear off. I'm like I said. I'm wondering if I should just pull the the whole front end off the motor because. Whoops. Okay, one of these is just not okay. Where'd it go? 
Okay, where, where are you, bud? What what happened to you? Did you get under the tire or something? Okay, that's a little messed up. Where did my where did my bearing cap go? <laughs> where did my cap go? I don't, okay, hang on. Did I not loosen this up all the way? Okay, I don't know why this does this sometimes. But it doesn't want to, like, remove it? Okay. Okay, so you gotta... I think there's, like, a specific spot. And also, I really want to know where that... Did it just slide under the tire, maybe? I have a jack here. I wonder if it's just under the wheel. Oh, this is awful. Why am I doing this like this? Can we get it just a like a like a hydraulic jack? I don't I don't see it. Not yet anyway. I would say it has fallen through the floor and I'm never going to see it again, which means I'm going to have to go to town in my car to find it. Uh, and these still won't pop off for some reason. I don't know what is going on here. Let's, uh, all right. Well, you know, game, I don't like it when you treat me like this. <laughs> Let's uh, loosen off the exhaust manifold, which looks like one of the bolts is already halfway out. There we go. Exhaust manifold can come off. I just, I don't know what happened to that. It fell down. Is it inside the engine bay and I don't see it? Did it land on the suspension or something? Because this, this thing doesn't run again without that. So I just back something out and I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe it's time we just, can we just, oh God. Can we pull the whole engine? No, I don't want to pull the whole engine though. Like there's no point in pulling the whole engine for this job. Like I took them off in the parking lot before. So you think they just come right off again. The first one popped right off. No problem. And then disappeared into the evening. And now I'm never going to see it again. But the other ones here, none of these want to pop it off. I can tell you, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, none of these want to pop off, buddy. Well, I'm at a loss, people. <laughs> and I've saved the game, so it's kind of stuck here. I wonder if I can just pull the whole head off, maybe, with the crowbar. I've done that before in real life, where you had to pry the head off because the gaskets are stuck. All right, let's see here. Okay, that takes that out. Let's take this off because we know this will pop off. Or will it? There, there's the cam gear. Look, see, look how easy that came off. <clears throat> okay, so I've managed to pull the whole engine out of the truck. Uh... Still can't find that bearing, which is now lost forever. And I'm not sure I can buy a new one. That's the part that scares me because I bought all the bearings that were there before. And this still. It still won't come off like. 
I can't get the head off. I can't get the bearing cap off. I've tried using the crowbar because thinking, oh, maybe it's stuck and that's how you do it. That doesn't work. This, this doesn't work. I'm at a loss here as to why this won't, won't come out. And I can't really reload my game because I've already saved it with the engine part way out. So I'm very confused um, about how this is going to go. I keep right clicking and, and it's, it's just, just not happening. And I know it's right click because I've, I've done this a bajillion times. Oh, 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 one of the caps came off. Nice. <laughs> Why? Why did it come off this time? There, there's the other one. Okay. I'll, all right. I don't understand. So the real question then becomes, where's my other bearing cap that kind of fell out? Okay. The head, no, this, this cam needs to come out. This is so, so annoying. <laughs> Can I just get it from the side like I did the other one? Oh, got it. Okay, there we go. Pick it up. Where's the cam? There it is. Okay, cam's out. Oh, did the head just pop off? Oh, it did. Oh, it did. Nice. It looks like we got some bad pistons in there. Okay, this is this has been hell. Absolute hell. We got two bad pistons at least. Oh, three and four bad pistons. Well, that's not the worst thing. It's the bearings I'm concerned about. Like... Why is this stuff over here? I put this in the back of the truck. Uh, I Oh, yeah. And if you hit anything with this, it just goes flying. Look. Boom. Okay. But I don't see the other bearing. Is there a way to find lost parts? Because I definitely have a lost part or 12 uh, around here somewhere. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to put the head on now. Because what else are we going to do? It's just we have to put this stuff back together. We got to get this truck running again. And I don't, like, how are we going to go, we're going to have to go to town and see if we can get a new bearing cap. Which I'm not sure you can, honestly. So, oops, we've got to put the cam in first, okay. Oh, okay, that that's just not okay, buddy. Okay, I get it. You just want to swing around wildly. Got it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I understand, bud. All right, let's see here now. <sighs> Where do you go? Wait a minute. Okay, well, just relax, buddy. Is there a pin to hold this thing in place? Is there? That is the release for it. I doubt that that's just going to drop the whole engine off, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Just pulled the whole engine off. We'll stick that back on there. Cool, cool, okay. All right, let's see here. I just need you to go in your home, buddy. Oh, and it looks like each one's specific. Okay, well, whatever. Where's the other one? There it is. Okay, there's that. It's the... It's the other bearing cap. I, <laughs> I can't find it, and I don't know where it is. Is there, like... I know there's a phone. Where is it? I, I don't know if you can. Okay, well, we're going to figure this out. So we got that. We got to put the the rocker assembly back in, but we can't do that until we have the bearing. And I, I'm, I'm totally missing the bearing. So are they going to run to town and see if we can get a new bearing? Because I just, I'm missing that part. And unfortunately, it fell down. When I, when I put the truck in place here, and it, I thought it was under the tire maybe, but it is 100% not under the tire. Uh, I can show you that because I can jack the whole thing up again. And it's just not going to be there. Dude, close the door. There we go. Thank you. And I thought like, okay, maybe it just got under the tire like in games like this. Sometimes stuff like... What I think happened, honestly, is it's passed through the floor. But let's get this thing jacked up as far as it'll go. We'll take a look underneath. 
I'm not sure how far this goes up, but we're gonna go up all the way. Cause maybe it, maybe it's reappeared under the tire. But I'm never doing work in here again. I can tell you that much. Okay, that's up as high as it'll go. And as you can see, no bearing. Now I was hoping maybe you could see it through the floor a little bit or something like that. Or it would say, hey, there's a bearing here. Let's get, oh God, this thing. Okay, here we go. Let's slide around under here a little bit. I don't see anything here. I was so excited not to have to use uh, the shit car again. And now I apparently have caused myself enough problems. This is what I get. Hubris, my friends. Hey, that's all forward. Why can't I go sideways? Okay, let me see. I took it apart and it fell down here and then I never saw it again. It kind of fell through the frame rail and then it, it clipped through the frame rail and then fell to the ground and I never saw it again. So I don't think I can buy a new one though. That's the problem. And I don't know what to do about that. So let's head to town. Let's see if we can find it. This has been a very long recording because of the stupid bearing. <laughs> okay. This is, did it get inside the car somehow? No, I don't see it. So you stay there, bud. We're going to go hop in this, which I think is out of oil and I bought oil and it's right here. So we're going to figure that out. Okay, let me see here. We'll put oil in it. Uh, we can always buy more oil, but we can't really do any missions right now. So, because we're out of money. How much that oil did you take? Oh, you didn't take too much, but you're fine. All right. So here we go. Put this down. I don't think we can. Okay, come on. This piece of crap. I was uh, so over this piece of shit. Come on. All right. So I wonder if there's a place to get lost items, maybe like in uh, Mon Bazoo, like you can go to that guy and he'll give you your lost items back. But I don't think so. And like I said, I got to be careful with this car because, well, it's a terrible vehicle. <laughs> Even on full brakes, it, it still accelerates down a hill. So. Excellent. Okay, we're, 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 we're still alive. Oh, it says maximum of 10. We're trying to do 10. How much fuel's in this thing? Eh, not a lot. We're probably gonna have to get fuel. See, and I'm running out of money again? Ugh. That's what I get for trying to do too much at once. Oh, that just stings so bad. Oh, we're low on oil again. Why? I just put oil in it. And I, and I closed the cap. Excellent. Let's keep going. I'd rather blow this up. Okay. This is such a sketchy ride. It's just like, it's, it's really is terrifying to drive this thing. Now I'm hoping somebody in town here can help me out. Uh, with the bearing cap. Okay. Let me see here. I'm pretty sure I bought the new ones. So I'm not sure. What we're going to do about that. Did I not close the oil thing? I thought I did. Yeah, I did. So what's, I just put oil in it. And now it's low on oil again. Okay. Yeah, see, like I already bought them. So. Oh. So I can buy the crappy cam bearings. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. God damn it. <laughs> Why do I have to buy the crappy cam bearing? I don't understand. Get in there. All right. Well, you know what? You know what? This game is just, sometimes it's frustrating as all get out. But that's all right. You know, having one bad cam bearing is not going to be the end of the world. We still got to afford new pistons. And this means this engine is going to come apart again at some point. And I feel like, what is, why can't I do the cash register? What is happening here? 
What did I do? Why, why was I allowed to do something with the cash register? What is this? What's this back door? I don't understand what's going on. We got to get home. Um, we got a cam bearing. We can leave. And hopefully we can get the truck to run again. <sighs> it's getting dark. Door close. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Like, it says I'm low on oil again, but... Like I said, I just put oil in it before I left the house, and, and the oil thing was, was closed. So let's just drive it home, and hopefully it doesn't seize on us. If it does, it's not a huge problem. We can just walk the rest of the way, but... I'm getting thirsty. I could use a beer right now. The distance of braking on this thing is intense. Like, in, in, in a good way. Like, it's so scary and sketchy. If you've never driven a car like this that is so sketchy... That it's it, it's it's horrifying in so many ways. Uh, you've never really driven anything. What is that up there? Like it is. I had a buddy of mine, and and this is no joke. Like I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. So uh, he had a, a diesel Volkswagen Rabbit. He was a, he was the bassist in our band at the time, and he had a like a 1983 Volkswagen Rabbit diesel, and. It was the most awful piece of shit, and he broke a tie rod, or uh, not a tie rod, a uh, ball joint one night uh, when he came over to my house, and it broke on the street just in front of the house, and we wrapped a, a roll and a half of duct tape around the ball joint to hold it in place, and then drove it back to his house, and it was the most sketchy, terrifying experience I have ever done in a car, and it was great. Oh, we could have died. It was lovely. Oh. I miss you, Chris. You're a good dude, man. All right, so here we go. We're going to get up here. Ugh. Chris was the best, man. He was just always had a joke. Good guy. Okay. I've been lucky enough in my life to run into some of the best people you can imagine. Okay, there we go. Cam bearing. It's a crappy one, but it'll, 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 oh, is it not a crappy one? Is it just as good as the other ones? Oh, it might be. It might be. Of course, I bought the wrong one, right? Because the very specific cam bearing has to go to a very specific spot. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? You know what, cam bearing? Yes, this is cam bearing, what, one? So what is what, are, what is this then? Is it one back here and you got to buy all the cam bearings? Or is it just I'm putting it in the wrong spot? Like, you should be able to use these cam bearings in any spot, right? Right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose it. Okay, we're gonna have to go buy the other cam bearings. That's $7 a piece. And we're running out of fuel. <laughs> I'm gonna be back. Uh, just give me a minute. Okay, so I bought the other two cam bearings. And I'm hoping one of these is correct. Because it doesn't... Oh, there it is. I had it. Oh my god. Finally. Holy crap. What a trip. Okay, you can go down now. Thank you. And you can go down. Are you all down? Are you all down now? I want to make sure before I go and piece this thing back together. Now that it's off here, though, I should probably uh, swap these cam gears out. Um, which means probably the front cover is going to have to come off. Which I'm terrified to do with the way things have been going. But I guess this is how we learn. <laughs> Oh, okay, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Okay, so you got the uh, fan clutch there. And then we're going to go and... Is it just a central nut here? Okay, okay, how do we get this off? We'll take the main pulley off. Oh, God! The whole assembly... Oh, the whole assembly came off. Okay, great. Perfect. Okay, maybe, maybe that was held in by the other... By the clutch? Okay, let's see. Now, here's the... I think this is the front cover here. Okay, front cover's coming off, I think. Oh, yeah, front cover just came off. Nice, okay. Like I said, we might as well do the cam gears while we're here. What? Okay. Oh, no. Whoa! Cam gear. No, 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 no. The, the interaction where stuff like... Like, bangs off other things? Okay, let me see. What are you? 
Oh, you're the crank. That's why your crank is bad. That's that's what the issue is there. Okay, no worries. All right, let's go out here. We're gonna grab this large Camry. That that was why. That makes more sense now. Don't don't do this to me, buddy. There we go. <sighs> That's why that that I didn't I was like I didn't there wasn't another cam gear to buy. <laughs> I don't know which one I want. Okay, dude, stop that, please. There, and then we'll put these this'll just, you know, further along our desire to have a good a stock engine. Because I want to do the stock engine up. I don't want to just move to the V8. Like everybody thought I should just move to V8, and I was like, isn't it part of the experience in the whole game? Isn't that what we're trying to do here? All right. Fixing the car up one piece at a time. Where's the timing cover? There it is. No, 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 no. What happened? What happened? What, what did we loosen up? <sighs> okay, let's get pick this up now. Let's get this. Okay, pick this up and we'll put this. Whoop! On it goes. <laughs> this is. Oh no! Ooh, it's making me. It's making me motion sick. All right, put this in here. Like such. Perfect. Okay, now we got to put all this garbage back on. So it was this this one went on. Yeah, that one went on there. And then this went on right right below it. And oh yeah, we got to tighten that crap down. Oh no, we don't. Uh, we got to tighten this pulley down. Or is it not that pulley? I forget. Okay, we got to put this clutch back on. There we go. Wait a minute. Oh no, that... Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Can I just tighten one of these up or do I got to tighten both of them up? Well, let's go with we can tighten one up, I guess, because I don't see that coming off anytime soon. Um sure yep <laughs> okay <laughs> so now that this is in we can put this back on what did i just oh my god this is what i get see this is this is why people always ask me why i put my wrench down when i'm working in, in um, my garage it's because of that like i pick it up and i go to rotate it and it causes a problem perfect okay let's see here we're gonna go on put you on buddy now hopefully this will start. Like, I just know I've loosened something by accident or something, and it's all internal, and I don't know. Okay, roller rockers are in place, and then we will put the fan on, maybe? Is that going to? There, fan can go on. All right, let's, uh, let's put this back on here, put the valve cover back on. Oh, no, that was wrong. Valve well, cover. Okay, here we go. Yep, just rock and roll for a second while I look around here. Okay, we're going to put, you have to use the old exhaust manifold, but that's all right. So really, we got to replace the crankshaft and the uh, uh, exhaust manifold and the pistons for sure at some point. But, ah, crap. Forgot the top cam gear. This is what happens when you hurry. All right, put this back off. Yep, just freak out engine. All right, there we go. And then cam gear. That was the first thing a part I ever changed. I, well, no, not the first part I ever changed, I think. Uh, but I think it was the first new part I got was that cam gear. Okay, now put this on here like this. Perfect. I can go down, put the fan belt back on. There we go. And then everything else can go back on once I have it. Well, let's put the carburetor on because we're here. Oh, wait a minute. I got to put the intake, man. Wait a minute. Where's the intake? Oh, there it is. Okay. Thought I lost it. All right. Here we go. Okay. Let's get... Can we move this thing out of here? Because I feel like I've definitely moved it around. There we go. There's two, three, and four. Well, it's, it's probably going to work a little better now. 
Yeah, I want to do a mission today and get some coin, but we're an hour into this, and I don't think anybody wants to watch 10-hour 10, 10 videos of this. What? Okay, wait, okay, we're, we're, okay well, relax, buddy. Relax. I can see it pop up, and then it goes away. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> We're going to just, 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 oh, wait a minute. Can we do it better without the wrench in our hands? All right, come here. Ugh. Now I can't figure out how to get it off the engine block. Oh, wait a minute. Release, right? Ugh. Oh, God, what happened? What did I do now? Oh, God. Oh, did it fall off? Okay, it did. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to have to... There we go. Okay. We need to get this jack out. How do we work the release? Okay. Yep. That's where we work on that. All right. You go back in here. All right. So now we got to tighten everything up down there and maybe put the carburetor on. So let's... Uh... I'm a creep... I'm a dildo. What the hell do I want a beer? I do. I don't belong here. Okay, here we go. Oh, you go all the way in, buddy. Uh, all the way. Okay, we also want to... Actually, you know what I'm going to check while I'm down here is the oil plug. Yeah, get up there. That's probably why you're leaking oil, fool. Okay, is that one in all the way? It doesn't look like it's in all the way. Neither one of these look in all the way, but you know what? It's going to work. Okay, we're going to tighten these down. <sighs> tighten these down. And slide out the front. Okay, here we go. Let me, let me, give me my hand. Why do you need a hand there? Okay, here we go. So let's move that out of the way, and then we'll grab the carb. Stick the carb back on. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll grab... Where's the air cleaner? There it is. That can go back on. Okay. Set of wires. Oh, crap. I forgot. I pulled the distributor out. Oh, no. Do I have to... Nope, distributor went in. Nice. Okay, there we go. I pulled the distributor out in, in an attempt to see if that's what was causing my problem. Wires are on, and now we can do... Is this the upper or lower rad hose? It must be the lower one, I guess. Yep, and then this other rad hose can go in. Hose is so rad. Okay. Now, these are all the old cam gears, the old head. Oh, yeah, the exhaust. We probably want that. Well, you know what? I'd probably run it without it if I had this many holes in it because it wouldn't matter. But in a vain attempt to make sure I'm not exhausting myself out of the cab. All right. Here we go. This is good. That's good. And we should be. I think that's all my parts. Okay. So. Now, it says I need to return this to Jimmy. It says on a return to... It said that, right? Return to Jimmy Junks. All right, well, you know, we'll throw this in the box in case we see Jimmy Junks, and we'll let him have it. But we're going to throw all this in here. Now, hopefully it starts, but we're going to check the... A, we're going to check the coolant to see if it's... Now, my little engine stand has now gone into the wall, and i got to figure out how to move this thing. You know, I'm just going to keep the cam bearing because reasons. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay, this can go here like this now. All right, perfect. Now it's not stuck in that corner. I tried to move it before and it wouldn't move, so I don't know why it'll move now. But, you know, I think the game is an exact... It's the game's an early access. Like, what do you want from it? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's do check. Let's put oil in it. We'll see if the oil came out when I ripped everything off there. 
That's zero percent mortar oil. That's ninety-one. So we'll grab this and. It appears to have not lost any oil. Okay, well, there's that's good. And then we'll check uh, the radiator, because I did have all the, the, the pipes off there. Okay, let's see. Apparently not. So I'm going to put this in my truck. I'm going to put the oil in my truck. Excellent. And then we're going to just, we're going to try to fire this up before we do anything else. Runs like a top. Started much easier too. See, we're working. We're getting there. Now let's go. We're supposed to, we need to make some money. So let's go to the water tower, water tower. Okay. So we got to go. I'm going to try to get to the water tower up that little weird road, but I'm not sure it's going to work because the tires may be too crappy, but Let's see. All right, let's fire this puppy up. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, wait a minute. There's actually something I want to check here. Let me just stop you for a moment, please. Did I get all the gears and stuff and toss them in the back here? Yeah, we're good. So we can also make a junk run. We're not going to get a lot for that junk, but... Uh, it'll at least be something. Sorry, I'm just, I'm a little off kilter. Whoa, hold up. Looks like there's something in the mailbox there. Hang on. Don't go anywhere, bud. Nope. Okay, we're good. All right. Let's, I, I wasn't sure if I'd ever looked at that before. All right, let's go. Okay, so we wanted to go do the turning the, the 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 well thing i don't know what that means we're gonna go turn it anyway i'm not sure who i'm supposed to talk to about that either once i do turn it but it's worth 300 bucks so like why wouldn't i give it a shot it seems to run a bit oh god slow down slow down slow down it seemed to be running a bit better Uh, it's definitely going to need better tires, though. The tires on this are garbage. And uh, we're going to need new tires. So let's see here. It should be... Uh, oh, yeah. It's just it's up here a ways yet. But, okay. So we're going to see a road to our right. We want to skip it. We want to take the second right. But I found in this game so far, it's not always easy to see where you are. And I don't want to get my truck stuck somewhere in a situation that it can't get out of. And that's why I'm scared about the tires because yeah, that was that's that's a road apparently. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, it should be right coming up here. Let's see. Okay, let's uh put her in four wheel drive and see what we do. Oh Jesus Christ! This is not this is not a great place to be. All right. And I feel like a new transmission would help quite a bit. Okay, yeah, all right, okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is like an old riverbed or something. Oh, my God, this is... Am I even on the road anymore? I don't even know if I'm on the road. Is this the road, or am I just off the road at this point? <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, now, it says that the road cuts back here. What? Where is that? I... Oh. Is it up here, maybe? I don't... Okay, so now I'm on a road that is not supposedly here. Okay, well, hang on a sec. This doesn't make a lot of sense. 
Did I did I miss a road going up? I feel like I did. Oh wait a minute, here we go. Yep, I just missed it on the way by. Jeez, this, these roads are so hard to see. Okay, here we go. Up this road here. Boy, this thing is, is a lot better than it was, I'll tell you. Uh, it sounds better, too, but I need to replace that exhaust at some point, too. Okay, come on, baby. That's good. All right, let's see. Let's uh, park alongside, because there's no gate into here, so... Oh. <laughs> excellent, okay. Yeah, I'm thirsty now. Okay, excellent, okay, no. Oh no, am I gonna be able to get out of here being thirsty? Ugh, got it. All right, so we just got to go see that guy now, which is going to be harder than it looks because I'm thirsty and I have $6 to my name. All right, okay, let's go see that guy and get paid. Let's get in the truck. Okay. All right, let's turn you, turn you back on. Oops, she's like, okay. I'm an idiot. Okay, now, all right, all right, let's go. I'm trying not to bang the body off of stuff because I know, okay, I know there's body work in the game because it says so in the description, but I'd rather not bang up the body given the option. Then again, it's a truck, so I don't really care if it's got damage on the body. It's a truck. Who cares? But like if it was like a real classic, I'd worry about it, but it's, it's an old Toyota. It's not exactly a classic. All right, here we go. People love them. I'm sure. Okay. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're just four-wheel driving. I don't think we needed four-wheel drive for this, honestly. And we've gone through half. I, you know what? I think fuel consumption's up with the four-wheel drive on, because we're down to half our fuel <laughs> already. So we better make some money off of this, or we're in a lot of trouble. All right, here we go. Perfect. Um, is it is it up here? Oh, it must be up here. Here we go. Yeah, because I can see where I came down. You know, two-wheel drive is working fine for this. I don't think I needed four-wheel drive. I think it was just a waste of time and money. All right, here we go. Excellent. So this will give us some money for fuel, which will be nice. Maybe more parts? I don't know. Who knows? Okay, buddy, bro, brosif, give me my, give me my coinage, baby. Let me see. Okay. What do we got? Look at all these people, man. These are all YouTubers. It's grand. All right. Let me see. Hi, bud. Here you go. Nice. Have another job tomorrow. You might 300 bucks. Nice. Okay. Look at all these people. There's Komodo. These are all very good YouTubers. This is, I aspire to be as good as a lot of these guys. I really do. Like, some of these guys are like, you know, heroes of mine. I've been watching Komodo since he was like brand new too. I like, uh, oh, John Tooney. Yeah. I would, uh, I would love to one day be, be known enough where I could end up on something like this. I would love that. And I appear to have damaged the roof of my truck somehow. Um... Which just lends itself to buying welding wire. And uh, first of all, I'm going to go get a beer because I am really thirsty. And pretty sure I'm dying. My sanity's going down. I don't know what that means if we're going to start seeing like zombies or something, but I, <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's. Uh, excuse me. Hi, how are you? Um, I need something to drink. And all you have is beer. So I'm going to buy this beer. Thank you. Uh, thanks. And then I'm going to get one of these as well. All right, here we go. I'm going to pay for that. Perfect. And I'm going to take my beer with me. Oh, see, I dropped that. Whoops. Okay, we're all going to need... Uh, we're going to need welding wire as well. Uh, which I know you can buy in there. 
Oh, yeah, we wanted to stop and see this guy, Jimmy Junks. We're going to return this to Jimmy Junks. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, no, oh, what the hell? All right, let's see. Jimmy. Fill out one of the forms. But I have the service manual here. Jimmy Junks auto repair. Jimmy speaking. You got anything I can steal? No, okay. <laughs> Just looking around. Oh, welding stuff. So we did damage the body pretty good, I got to tell you. Uh, I don't know how we damaged the roof, but I don't remember hitting anything with the roof. But we'll, uh, looks like we damaged that fender too, but not a big deal. I don't think we're like hugely damaged up here. No problem. We'll buy some welding wire. How much is welding wire? And where do we get it? Is it in here? Well, here's some welding wire. Welding wire. And then we're going to buy two welding wire just so we have welding wire. You know what I mean? Might as well have it around. Okay. That can go in there. We had enough money for it. Uh, should we get fuel? I think we're good enough for fuel to get home. Oh, look at these wheels, man. Look at all the wheels. I haven't even been to this section yet. Look at this turbo stuff. Why would you even need that? I don't even understand. Okay. On a truck like this? Like, okay, if you're building that race truck that that guy's got over there, 100%. Get the turbos. But just the kind of truck I'm building? Steel rim, eight-spoke rim. What do I like here? Oh, geez. Look at 300 beadlock wheels. I don't need beadlocks. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. These are very expensive things. This is $600 tires. These are $500 tires. What do we got? $370, $360, $400 tires. What's the cheapest replacement tire? Ah, here we go. $70. Bucks. $280 bucks to replace my tires. I might do that at some point in the near future, or I might upgrade straight to these. I don't know. I don't know how to get the tire off the rim. It's probably the crowbar, I would imagine. But anything to replace this garbage tires. So, all right. But until then, I was going to quit the episode here, but I think we should go to... Uh, look, I see that tire there. And I remember the guy telling me to collect old tires for money. But I want to go see how the welder works, so let's go do that. We got, we got half a tank of gas. We should be all right for now. There's also the cell phone mission we can do where we got to go to the cell towers and flip some breakers and that'll pay some coins. So maybe we can do that and that'll afford us a set of tires, but we'll do that in the next episode. But at first I want to go see about welding up this piece of trash because I've managed to damage it. So, and see how the welding works. I'm sure it's just a click thing, but we haven't done it. So let's go do it. Whoa. Just about went off the road there. We're all right. Steering's still a bit drifty. <laughs> it kind of, it kind of goes where it wants sometimes. Whoa, slow down, bud. Slow down. Slow down, bud. This corner is awful. Like, why would you live on this side of this? And you can damage your vehicle just going over that. Because I've banged the, uh, the car off of the ground coming across that bridge several times now. And not even going that fast. You know, I haven't seen any new junk recently. Maybe there's a limited amount of junk you can find. But I think also I'd like to get out and explore a bit. I think the engine's in good enough shape we can probably do that. I would love to fuel inject it too at some point. You know, just for... It's not that I... You know what? I'm going to say this and I'm going to get some people angry. But carbs kind of suck. Working with carbs. Like, they're easy enough to tune... Like, like to get running and stuff. But really hard to tune. And the best way to tune a carb is to get a wideband O2 sensor and hook it up. At that point, I might as well just get a... Uh, Uh, EFI system and just have everything hooked up because wideband O2 sensors are expensive. <sighs> okay, now where's my where's my ooh? Is this my welder? Okay, excellent. Oh. Okay. So I think we're gonna did it. Okay, I think we're gonna have to put the welding wire into it. Oh, I had it. There we go. Is this gonna work now? Oh, no, it doesn't quite reach. All right, let me move the car. The car is definitely in the way. Okay, let's see here. Oh, my God, this again. I put some fuel in the car when I was in town. All right. Don't backfire, please. Okay, back in here. I thought maybe I could reach outside with it, but I could not. Okay, let's bring her on in here. 
think that's good. Perfect. All right, let's just get the welding thing out here. There we go. Now, oh, do we have to turn it on? How does... How does one turn it on? <laughs> I don't know. Um... It's not working. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to use the welder. I thought it was for body work. Maybe I'm wrong here. I don't know how to turn on the welder. Okay, I can pick that bit up. It looks like it's just a little MIG. Um... Why is there always something in this game that I don't understand? All right. Well, I don't know how to... Okay, I do, apparently. Okay, how did I... Did I run out of wire? No, I didn't. Okay. So, how does one get... How do you fix the roof, then, is my question. Okay, let me see. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, can I? Yes, I can. How do I fix this? Because I can't seem to weld up there. For some reason I can weld on this side, but... Am I using up the wire? Maybe. I have no idea. I can seem to <laughs> weld this door infinitely. But that's like the only part of the vehicle I can weld. Oh yeah, and up here. But I can't seem to fix these parts here. Which could probably use a bit of welding, honestly. So if somebody could figure this out for me and tell me how to, how to weld this. What is this engine block? I would be very appreciative because all I seem to be able to do is weld that. And I've used up all my wire. So, see why I bought two? Yeah, this is already done. So... Yeah, if anybody can tell me how the welding works, because I got those big old dents up there, I would sincerely appreciate that, because I can't seem to figure it out. Okay, come on, buddy. Or maybe it's too dented and I gotta do... Oh my god. Oh my god, just get, get on. Perfect. Okay, is it like I need to use this and bend it back into shape? No, it doesn't care about that. Yeah, so I'm not sure how welding works, but hopefully it'll uh, be figured out at some point. There we go. Probably don't need this beer in here anymore. We get so much beer now because I just keep buying beer at the store every time I need it. So we are set for beer. So anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Maybe get your friends to subscribe. Might as well have a sleep while I'm waiting. Uh, if you, uh, you know... If you have a doctor who'd like to subscribe, do that. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I am not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. I don't know how to weld, apparently. I would, I would love to know. Is it just... Maybe I gotta hold down the button. That doesn't seem to do anything either. And it, this is a big... Out!